Hi and welcome to this Blue Blue Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the US dollar versus the Norwegian krona as price has approached a key resistance or supply zone. Um, and we expect the market to potentially fall. And the reason being that we're expecting the market to fall is that we look at the US dollar and we think that the US dollar is going to fall significantly as well so with the us dollar looking for that weakness we look across the board to our major currency pairs our us dollar currency pairs um, and see if there's any kind of trading opportunities that we could potentially get on the back of especially against a stronger currency now Norwegian krona has been fairly weak, while this market has been fairly range-bound um, as the uh, Norwegian krona battles for um, you know strength against the US dollar and they're pulling each other each uh, in opposite directions. Um, now, with regards to the Norwegian krona, it's very heavily relied on Brent crude oil. Um, we're at this area of resistance. Brent crude oil is at a an area of support it's been uptrending for a while on the daily time frame um, and we could see a little bit of uh, strength coming back into the crude oil market the crude oil inventories were very good for the price of the oil yesterday um, to the point of day I think it was minus three million or something um, suggesting that there is lower um, outputs of or lower inventories of crude oil which means more demand will be created which means higher prices this will affect the norwegian krona it will also affect the affect the canadian dollar now looking at dollar knock just technically it's looking pretty good the market is bouncing between these key levels around about that eight four five all the way up into this sort of eight Eight area and we're just bouncing in between this level range bound pretty nicely and the market is back at the top of this range which is really nice to see um, it's a really good area to be uh, executing some short positions making sure your stop losses are, are tucked in above those key highs because if the market is going to fail it's going to push those and push higher now the likelihood of that can be very low here just because it's almost like the third touch of the range which usually is a pretty strong indication that we are going to see some further downside. What's pretty nice as well, if I just zoom in, is the fact that the daily candle has already taken out this this previous daily high and is rejecting back within. This could be a false breakout candle and could trigger the sell-off in dollar knock. Okay. Now, just jump into a lower time frame. What can we see? Now, we can actually see a really nice bearish pattern. If you follow the Trading View channel, you'll see that we did a uh, dollar Swiss yesterday, and it looks very, very similar in the fact that we do have this sort of uh, bearish pattern forming where the market is kind of squeezing at the top of this area where the big resistance zone is. So, if you don't want to get on the back of the daily chart, you could look to get on the back of the four hour chart. And what we could look for is the four hour to take out the previous four hour low, which sits in at around this 87260, 87270 in here. Look for the breakdown in price, look for the pullback in for a retest, and then execute short trades. What also you could be doing is adding some small positions in here right now, making sure your stops are above the highs just to get that little bit of space in between um, the stop losses and then looking to execute on the push down. So always ask yourself the question when you're going into a market, why are you looking at the market in the first place? Make sure you have a reason to look at a market. And my reason is the fact that the US dollar is weak, looking weaker. We had that false breakout. That could be one reason. Um, oil supplies were, were good in the sense that it could drive demand for oil prices when we should potentially see some higher oil prices. That is good for the Norwegian krona. Um, so we have some fundamental reason to be involved in this market right now. Um, and the technicals are looking pretty good too. So dollar knock, really interesting to watch. Um, look for the breakdown here. Um, as always, make sure you're using stop losses. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching on Trading View, give us a follow here. Uh, give us a comment as well. If you're um, trading the dollar knock or if you've never traded it before, why haven't you traded it? Or maybe it's something you can look at in the future. Um, so thanks for joining me today and I'll speak to you soon.